Do you want to learn the top lane Bomba Mentals? Since Gragas is one of the best champions in the game right now, I will be teaching you how to play him in the top lane like me. So if you're tired of not being able to bomba or feel like every game comes down to a jungle gap, then this is the guide for you. The first thing that you need to understand before even getting into a game is how to draft properly. If your team picks too much AP, the game becomes significantly harder because magic resist items are really broken this season. If my team hovers three AP champions, I always ask them if they can pick less AP. In an ideal situation, you have an AP mid laner like Syndra and an AD jungle and bot laner. The support usually doesn't matter too much unless it's like a Xerath or Valkos or something like a heavy AP poke mage. Now let's get right into it. As Gragas top lane you want to take flash and TP every single game. Flash is the best summoner spell for Gragas because of his insane synergy with the E flash combo. Without flash there is no bomba. TP is extremely valuable for Gragas. It helps you get through the early laning phase. It helps you get behind enemies and we all know that Gragas Gragas loves being behind enemies. But it's that girl! And TP also helps you side lane. So, because of these reasons, it's a no brainer. Ignite is also a niche option, but Gragas has a weak level 1 to 5, so you won't really solo kill your opponent unless they're messing up really bad. Now, let's move on to the build. This is Gragas' best top lane build right now. This is Woody Fruity's stat check build. Grasp Rod of Ages Gragas. A Rod of Ages is completely broken on Gragas. It makes you an unkillable titan. The only drawback of Rod of Ages is the bad build path and weak early game with no ability haste. But the great thing about this build is that it's very easy to play. You literally just walk at people slowly and down smash them. Did he just walk up slowly and down smash? You want to look for quick trades as much as possible, but without wasting too much mana, because Gragas' early laning phase is very limited by mana problems. You want to trade anytime Grasp, Scorch, or Mana Flow Band are up. Just walk up with W and E, impregnate quickly, and walk away. You only want to use Q early game if it's 100% necessary, or if you're going to recall soon anyways. Q costs way too much mana in the early game, and using it too much will drain your mana too quickly. And Gragas without mana is basically like a fat minion. You still want to max Q because it's your most valuable ability to max. It reduces its mana cost, cooldown, and increases the damage and slow. On top of that, your Q is your safest wave clear option and your best poking option at later levels. So if you compare this to maxing E or W, you can clearly see why maxing Q is better. You want to take Grasp and Scorch because this gives you the strongest trading potential possible. In the early game, you outtrade almost anybody very easily with just W and E. It's very unskilled and you literally just walk at them and bonk them on the head. Boom. On top of that, Grasp heals you and gives you infinitely stacking max health. It's just a really broken rune in general. The other runes in this page are also very good on Gragas. Demolish is very powerful because of the strong trading potential early game. You can push the minion wave into tower very easily with all of Gragas' AoE abilities and get plates for free with Demolish. You can even do this when your lane opponent is under tower. You can quickly proc Demolish and walk away. On top of all this, now that Gragas W does damage to tower, you can completely one-shot towers late game. Thank you, Riot. I appreciate it. For the next row, you want to take Second Wind. Second Wind is a great rune for this build as well. So because you trade a lot, you get to proc Second Wind very often. On top of that, it's great in lanes where you are not winning early game, especially in ranged or poke-heavy matchups. In matchups where you will never trade, for example, a proxying Singe, I would go Conditioning in this row. Or you can just take Conditioning if you're feeling confident that you won't die early game. The main idea of taking second wind because you're trading a lot, so you're getting the maximum trading potential. Now for the last row in Resolve. Overgrowth is by far the best option in this row. It increases your health by a significant amount. More max health also means more healing from passive. You might think that Revitalize would give you more healing, but Revitalize is a bait rune for Gragas. It only increases your passive heal by 5%, and 5% of Gragas' 
5% heal on his passive is not a lot. The healing it increases from Rod of Ages is also barely noticeable, so unless you have a Soraka, Karma, and Seraphine on your team, Overgrowth is always better. On top of all of that, Revitalize's numbers also increase while you are healing in base, making the rune look much better than it actually is. Now, for secondary tree, you want to take Sorcery. Mana Flow bang, is a no-brainer. Even if you're building Rod of Ages, you still want this rune for mana, especially because we are building some ability haste in this build. If you're building ability haste on Gragas, you just simply need mana. And for the other secondary rune, you should take Scorch. Scorch is great because like I previously mentioned, you're looking to trade as much as you can. The amount of damage that this rune does is actually very surprising for like the first 5 levels. As long as you're trading a lot, Scorch is very good. You can often just get cheesy solo kills versus unsuspecting enemies. Now of course, Gragas can't only run Grasp of the Undying. He's more well known for running Phase Rush every single game. Phase Rush is Gragas' safest rune. It's very strong, especially for Gragas' hit and run playstyle. I recommend going Phase Rush in a more traditional Gragas build, such as Bowser's book build. Phase Rush is also really good versus champions like Aatrox, Olaf and Gwen. You can pick Phase Rush into every single matchup and it will probably be fine, but the reason why I'm recommending Grasp of the Undying is because it is the highest potential laning phase build. Even if you're running Phase Rush, you can still go the Rod of Ages build. You will just have a weaker early game, but if you're fine with that, you can still run it. It will still work, so don't worry about that. What is the best build for Why Dragas? no Storm Surge? Is the new Didn't you say a lot of ages was bad? Are you Turkish? These are a few examples of the questions that I get asked on stream every single day. And hopefully with this video, I can answer them. The removal of mythic items this season has opened many different builds. We are no longer limited to only one mythic item per game. Knowing how to itemize correctly is one of the most important skills to have success with Gragas. Let's begin with the starting items. I always start Doran's Ring. However, buying potions is not always necessary because Gragas' passive makes him one of the highest sustain champions in the game. Even after the nerfs. The only problem is, you need mana to use your passive. If you're looking to fight early, I still recommend buying potions. However, if you're not getting pressured too much and are just chilling, for example, if you're up against a Garen, you can easily play without potions and save 100 gold for your first item. What boots should you take? When you play the Rod of Ages build, you want to buy Ionian boots pretty much every game. This is because Rod of Ages doesn't give any ability haste. So, Ionian boots are your next best, cheapest option to get very efficient ability haste. I would only go Sorg Shoes with this build if I'm solo AP and I have to 1v9. If you're going Bow's book build, you should always go Sorg Shoes. This is because you already have a good amount of ability haste from all the books and the runes, so more damage is way better in that build. If your main focus is not doing the most amount of damage in general, you could still build ability haste boots, but just know that you can be flexible. So now let's finally cover the Woody Fruity stat check build. The best thing about this build is that it has a strong early laning phase and it's extremely flexible. You can either build more damage and become a chunky one-shotting bomba or you can build extremely tanky with cheap tank items like frozen heart or abyssal mask. Here's the full core build. This is what you would want to buy in an ideal world. Of course every single game is different and you have to adapt to what you're playing against and what your team is playing. So as your first item, you want to go Rod of Ages every single game. I don't think I need to explain why. It's, it's, it's Rod of Ages. Bomba. <laughs> Here are some great item options that can literally replace anything except Rod of Ages, of course. Like I said, this build is extremely flexible. So if you need to be tankier because you already have enough damage on your team, you can build tanky. If your team doesn't have enough AP, you can build more damage. If none of that applies, just stick to the core build. The core build will pretty much always be consistent. Like I said, the most consistent second item is Cosmic Drive. It synergizes very well with this build and makes up for the lack of movement speed and ability haste. Other great options are Lich Bane if you want more burst to carry games harder, Hextech Rocket Belt if you need extra mobility versus high ranged comps, Frozen Heart if the enemy team has a lot of auto attackers like Trinimir or Kalista, or if you just need to be the tank in your team comp, Abyssal Mask for the exact same reason but versus AP champs of course. You can also go Koenig Rookern, but I only recommend this versus multiple AP champs. For example, if the enemy team has Cannon 
top and Elise jungle. As your third item, you have multiple options as well, of course. Usually, you want to go Riftmaker. In total, Riftmaker will give you about 120 AP, 15 ability haste, 350 health, and up to 10% damage ramp. The Omni Vamp that it gives at the max stacks isn't really that useful on Gragas because all of his abilities are AoE, and Omni Vamp healing is reduced on AoE abilities. But the stats alone make this item really worth it. Death Cap is a good item as well, but I would only build it if the enemies are squishy and you were already building more AP previously. Or if you're just rich. You know, death cap is always good if you have too much money. You can also build Crypt Bloom third item if the enemies are stacking MR. Crypt Bloom is much better than Void Staff in this build because of its ability haste. Jack Show is a really broken third item option as well. It makes you pretty much unkillable even if it's your only tank item. When you're building your fourth or fifth item, you've already chosen your path. Bomba, Boga, or Tank. So you should choose your last items accordingly to what you're playing. If you've been mostly building tank items, going death cap last is kind of bad however if you've been mostly building ap items you can still itemize tanky if you need to this is what i meant earlier with knowing how to itemize correctly is one of the most important skills to have success with gragas bomba all right so this is the end of the top lane bomba mentals guide if you have any questions make sure to ask them in the comments or in my live stream